In this video, we're going to learn how to delete all the files in a directory using Python. The first thing we'll do is import the built-in OS module, which includes functions, which are going to help us. The OS module includes a function called listdir. If we pass the function a string containing a path to a directory, the function is going to return a list of all the files and directories in that directory. So here we'll have path is equal to, and we'll have a string with dot slash. This is the path for the current working directory. Then we'll call os dot list dir, and we'll pass it path. We'll output the list returned from the function using print. We'll save this. Now in our current working directory, we have the files d.py, f1.txt, f2.txt, f3.txt, and the subdirectory subdir. We'll run our program now. And we can see the list dir function does give us a list containing these files and the subdirectory. Next, we can use the path.isFile function to check if each list item is a file. And then if it is, we can use the remove function to actually delete that file. So for example, we'll call the function os.path.isFile and we'll pass it a string containing the path to the file f1.txt in the current working directory. This should return true because f1.txt is a file. We'll output that using print. Then we'll call the isFile function again we'll have os.path.isFile. This time though, we'll pass it a path to the subdirectory. So we'll have dot slash and then sub dir, and we'll output the return value again using print. This time though, we should get back false. So we'll save this and run a program. And we do get back true for the file and false for the subdirectory. Now we can use the remove function to actually delete the file. So here, for example, we could have os.remove and we'll have dot slash f1.txt. And if we save this and run the program and then check the directory, then we can see f1.txt has been deleted. So next, what we'll do is create a loop. We'll have here for name in this list. So this loop body is going to run for each file name and directory name returned by this function. And each time it does, name is going to be set to the name of that file or that directory. What we'll do is take this path and concatenate to it that name. We'll have here file is equal to path plus name. This is going to give us the path to that file or directory. Then here we'll have if os.path.isFile file is true. So if the isFile function returns true, we know this is a path to a file. In that case, we're going to delete it. We'll have here os.remove and we'll pass it file to delete the file. We'll delete this here and then save our program and try it out. And if we check the directory, we'll see that all the files have been deleted, including our program d.py. If we try to run our program, we'll actually get an error here. Now that subdirectory sub dir does contain some files. So in that subdirectory, we have the files f4.txt, f5.txt, and f6.txt. If here we change the path to dot slash sub dir, this will also work. We'll save this and run our program. And then if we check out the contents of the subdirectory, we'll see all the files have been removed. So this is how we can delete all the files in a directory using Python.
Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.